forward in the session. Basic definition of what structural equation modeling is, what are the concepts that is required for that? One definite concept that you require is regression. Yeah. So it's the same concepts that we've talked about in the last session. Yeah. Only thing what you need to remember here is that here we are talking about multiple reg regression, not a linear regression. Okay. So we're going to go through the uh, theoretical aspects of it. We're, we're going to talk about how a structural equation modeling is to be done. That is, some of you all might be interested in doing research, right? Or to find out causal uh, relationships. So this is something which will help you do that analysis. Okay. I think I've mentioned some of the pluses of structural equation modeling even when we were talking about regression. That is, it uses even non-linear data. Non-normally distributed data also can be used by SEM. Okay. Also, there in regression you require large sample sizes. Yeah. But here, even with small sample size also, you can do your analysis, provided the theory supports it. Okay, your theoretical foundation has to support a small sample size. Let's say you're doing a research uh, for uh, B2B sales, business to business sales. Business to business sales, there are only few few customers, right? For In, in some scenarios, you will have only in single digits your customers. So in such a situation, you cannot have a large sample size. So you can go for a small sample size only, right? So since the theory supports this, you can do same. But even though the theory supports, you can't do regression because the data is not normal. Clear? Are we? Yes. Okay. And then we're going to talk about the TAM model. Have you heard about this model before? Technology acceptance model. Okay, so this is one of the famous, uh, uh, you know, accepted models of technology. That is, when there is, uh, when there is a launch of a new technology. Okay, why do people adopt it? Okay, let's say you've got a smartphone, you've got touch phone, you've got now you have GPT, Bard, all that kind of things. Just because it is new, people don't adopt it, right? Okay, so what are the factors which actually, you know, lead for people to adopt new technology? So that model tries to explain that. And that model was based on SIM and that's why I'm talking about it. Okay, so based on, by trying to understand the TAM model, probably we'll try to understand uh, how we can use it for our own research or projects, whatever it is. Okay, and what you need to understand here is that SIM is a tool for causal research. In the starting of the class, we talked that regression and correlation are descriptive researches, tools for descriptive research. Yeah, they are not for causal research. SEM is for causal research. And we've talked about the differences also between, you know, descriptive, exploratory, and causal. Yeah. So with this particular background, let's just jump right into it. Why am I like this? Okay. Okay, look at that definition. I'll just give you a few seconds. Just read it and then we'll try to dissect it. In fact, this is, this is basically uh, the same methodology that I use for almost all concepts. Take a definition, break it down. You break down your definition, you'll understand the concept. As simple as that. Okay? If you're not able to do that, that's not a good definition. So just look at it. Structural equation modeling is a family of statistical techniques that seek to estimate a series of dependence relationships among a set of concepts or constructs and incorporated into a integrated model. Let's break it down. First, I'm going to talk about family of statistical techniques. So what is this family? So these are all the concepts that have been used in structural equation modeling. So you have measurement theory from psychology. Somebody from psychology? Measurement theory, have you heard about this one? Okay. 
Fact analysis from statistics, path analysis, biology, biology is somebody, biotechnology, yeah, path analysis. Regression, that we've, what we've just now talked about. Simultaneous equations, uh, commerce, simultaneous equations. In economics, we get uh, different equations that are used to solve something like a quadratic equation, but multiple quadratic equations, right? Heard about it? Yes, no? Okay, fine, no problem. So these are the concepts that have been used and integrated into structural equation modeling. The next word that I'm going to look at is a series of dependence relationships. What does this mean? With our understanding of regression, what does that mean? It's a series of dependence relationships. That was there in regression also. Absolutely, multiple dependent variables. Previously, we have only talked about single, single. single dependent variable, right? In all the forms of regression, that is your simple regression or multiple regression or even logistic regression, we have only talked about single dependent, right? Even in correlation also, it's single dependent. So till now, we have talked only about single dependent. But now we're going to talk about multiple dependent. Okay? So more than one dependent entity. Also, I want to show you that here we are talking about concepts or constructs, not variable. Till now we have been talking about variable, relationship between variables, dependent variable, independent variable. We have been talking about single variable, that is a single data point. Clear? But now we are not talking about a single data point, we are talking about a construct. A construct or rather a latent variable. So when I say intelligence, intelligence is a construct, right? It's not an absolute entity. It's not like weight, it's not like height, which only one measure is there, okay? Constructs are that much more abstract, okay? Through hypothesis, we try to find the meaning of that or try to find out the dependencies of that construct. So intelligence could be based on age, could be based on your schooling, could be based on where you, where you were born, your parents' education. All these are different factors which could lead to a construct called intelligence. Yes? So here we are trying to see... Okay. So here we are trying to see the dependence relationships of constructs, not just variables. Please remember I'm saying construct, not just variables which means variables also, okay? Into an integrated model. So a path analysis, what is a path, uh, somebody say, what is a path analysis, ma'am? I think it works in the same, uh, on the same principle. What does that mean? Just tell me the nature of it. Basically, it has a definite direction. Yeah? So path analysis here also has a definite direction. You go from left to right. Okay? So you're transforming basically a hypothesis, you're transforming a theory into a diagram. That is what you're doing in structural equation modeling. Right? What is a model? It's a diagrammatic representation of your theory. That's what a model is. Okay, the same thing what we are doing here, right? So in a linear path analysis, what it means is that there is a definite direction, which means implicit in that, if there is a circular path, you can't use this, right? Which means multicollinearity is a problem here. We, we talked about multicollinearity. If there is a if there is correlation between the independent variables. Here also if there is a, if it is something like this, I have one variable, one variable, one variable. As long as if it is like this, right, I can do my analysis. But if it is like this, 
then I can't. Because this is circular. This is not this is not a path, right? It's not a linear path. It's a circle. So structural equation modeling will not work for they, there could be multicollinearity, but it will not work for a circular path. No, no. The, the problem, it's not in one direction. See, this is moving here, going there. Sorry, this is like this. Yeah? So here, for me to find out the influence of this on this, it becomes a problem. Because there is also this here, which is again affecting this. So then what is the actual influence of this on this? With this particular thing, I cannot find out. Okay? Clear so far? Yeah? These are some of the softwares that are available for uh, SEM modeling. Lizrel, Amos, Smart PLS. Uh, to be really honest, I've worked only on Amos and uh, Smart PLS. I've not worked on the others. In fact, Smart PLS is supposed to be uh, uh, an upgrade from the other softwares. Right? Again, this is only for your understanding, just for your knowledge. Okay? You don't require a software.